And I'm Danica Lewis. The Badger men's basketball team had a day to recover before tomorrow's matchup with Oregon, but not everyone on the team had the day off. A vital player to the success of that team never steps foot on the court. Susan Simon joins us live again from Omaha. Hi, Susan. Hi, Danica. Yeah, even when the team isn't playing, they still have to eat. They still have to get back and forth to the hotel and to practice. And basically at tournament time, they have to be ready for anything because everything is fluid and in flux. It is a huge job and responsibility to coordinate all of those things. And it's all resting on the shoulders of a 24 year old woman. She's the MVP behind the scenes. Kat Vosters is wrapping up her first season as director of basketball operations. Big thing is get everybody from point A to point B. Make sure everyone has a, a bed to lay down at night and make sure they're fed, babysit. Do you ever get weird requests as Frank Kaminsky call and say, I need a cheeseburger and it's 11 o'clock at night? No, no, no. <laughs> I would say, you know, try someone else. I'm going to bed, Frank. Kat grew up in Fitchburg, attended Verona High School, and has been a Badger fan since birth. How did you get this job? I started off as a student manager, um, so I graduated from UW um, two years ago. Coach hired me as a program assistant right after I graduated and uh, shortly after, you know, nine months after that, and I'm in the operations position. Do you ever have to pinch yourself? I do. <laughs> it's crazy because this really was, you know, it sounds silly, but this really was my dream job going back, you know, my very first year as a manager. Um, never really thought I could get there, and, and now I am. <laughs> There are only two other women in the country in a similar role. Kat is a rarity, but doesn't consider herself a trailblazer. Really, for me, it's it's no big deal. Um, I do my job either way. For other people, you know, as I say, you know, Coach Ryan doesn't treat me any differently. The players don't treat me any differently. It, it's people on the outside who are the ones who really notice it. And she's really handled it great. You know, she's had uh, she's learned from people in front of her too. Uh, the people that have had that position before and, and learned, leaned on some experience of them. But she's done a great job this year for the first time being in the position. You must handle stress very well. <laughs> I've, I've had to learn to do that. You know, you don't, you don't have too much time to, to waste. Kat was tested in February when on the way home from a loss in Maryland, the team's plane made an emergency landing in Pittsburgh. I think some people were scared, you know, because we were making an emergency landing, but I was scared um, trying to figure out where we were going to go <laughs> once we landed. Do you have another logistical scramble to get to Los Angeles? Is that looming in the horizon, you know, hopefully, just, for you? Just get through tomorrow. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see where it takes us. She is amazing, Danica. During the regular season, she uh, usually coordinates the travel arrangements for about 30 or 35 people. But at tournament time, a lot of the players bring their friends and their family, and she handles all of those arrangements, sometimes for as many as 70 people. I cannot keep my only child scheduled and coordinated. <laughs> so I don't know how she does that. The team has a nickname for her, too. They call her the Dobo. The, the director of basketball operations. Isn't that great? Perfect. Perfect. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous of her job. A little jealous. <laughs> it's, you know, she said, I, you probably saw in that video, she has two phones. One is the bat phone. It's Coach <laughs> Ryan and the players. And the other one is her friends and family. And when they landed in Pittsburgh, she had 10 minutes to get 35 hotel rooms, get everybody figured out, p figure out all the plane arrangements. Uh, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah. I don't know how she does it. Okay, maybe well, I don't There's only want... two other, <laughs> the <laughs> only other two women, I was gonna tell you, the only other two women in the country who are brave enough to do this job are at UNLV and Bowling Green University. We've oh. gotta meet those women. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks for that tonight, Susan. Susan Simon live in You're Omaha welcome. tonight.